Thank mm-hmm. you.
From Syracuse, New York, give it up for Miles Tucker on the tenor saxophone. From Indianapolis, Indiana, how about it for David Leonard on the piano and keyboard. From Cork, Ireland, give it up for Diego Joaquin Ramirez on the drums. And from Ashkelon, Israel, how about it for Tamir Schwerling on the bass. First song was by the great pianist Bill Evans. Uh, you may have heard that one on Miles Davis's album, Kind of Blue. The next one here, you will all know. Feel free to sing along. Uh, thank you so much for joining us.
Give it up for Diego Joaquin Ramirez on the drums, y'all. All right. I'm sure y'all knew the last one, Blackbird. The song before that is written by Stevie Wonder, dedicated to those who passed before, before I guess he did, and maybe, maybe to him before their time. That one is called They Won't Go When I Go. The next one here is by the great saxophonist and composer Ornette Coleman. Uh, this song is originally a free jazz song. We like to take the adventure and spirit of being totally free and put a little bit of groove to it. So this one is called Lonely Woman. Thank you so much.
I first met Diego because he was sleeping on Tamir's couch right when he moved to New York City. And he's felt like a nephew or a little brother, or, you know, any of those endearing things. And it, yeah, and it's been amazing to, to see all the great things he's done and see the way that he's grown. And it's really a pleasure to share the stage with him and to share the, the musicianship and you know, the feeling that he can create from these drums. So once again, Diego Joaquin Ramirez on the drums. I first met David because his uncle was the artistic director of Signature Theater, if you guys are familiar. Um, and he had some gigs. He, he first came to the city to attend the Juilliard School and he had gigs before he arrived. But he didn't know anybody. 
and I was the, the lucky lamb to, to try playing with him. And from the very first notes, we had a really deep musical connection, you know? And I feel like he, he's also Miles and, and my roommate. And he used to be my roommate, and he was our roommate for a month as well. But that being said, throughout this whole time, David's typically on tour with a great band, and I'm on tour often with another band. And even though we live together, we don't get to play together that often or see each other that much. And it's been an amazing experience throughout the, the pandemic to be able to learn and grow with these guys, but especially with David, because I haven't gotten to do it very much of recent years. So yeah, please give it up for David Leinard on the keys. <laughs> I first met Tamir playing something that we call a session, which is basically a rehearsal without a concert. So it's kind of like jamming, but you take it a little more seriously, you know? <laughs> and this was at the new school nine years ago? Yeah, yeah, about nine years ago at the new school through some mutual friends. And I, I say this often, but I continue to feel this way that, you know, we met each other in a similar stage in our life and a similar stage in our musicianship and he's been someone who we've continued to grow together. And some, you know, some of our peers, we're, very, we're so lucky to be musicians, and some of our peers you know, reach a certain level, and they're content with that, but I'm always inspired that Tamir's always going for something new, you know, whether it's in the realm of harmony and understanding chords, or just getting new technique, or writing new songs, which he's starting to do now, you know? And yeah, it's been an amazing experience to grow with him and watch him grow and be inspired by him every day. Give it up for Tamir Schmerling on the bass. <laughs> and this guy here has taught me more about music probably than anyone else in the world. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but he's just slightly older. And so I was always following him in life, whether it was playing basketball, playing soccer, playing violin and viola, and now here we are, you know, doing this. And yeah, he's also someone who, even though he's my brother and I'm not an objective, you know, <laughs> observer, he's always someone who continues to grow in life. Like whatever it is, he finds something new to do and something new to experience. And it always enhances the, the artistic value and the, the musicianship. And so I'm really lucky to have a brother who inspires me and who kicks my butt, you know, and really tells me as it really is. So give it up for Miles Tucker on the tenor saxophone. <laughs> All right, so this next one here is on my second album. It happens twice on the album because one version of it was kind of an accident and that became my favorite version. We have a up-tempo kind of samba, almost R&B-ish version. And then we have a slow, really chilled out version without any drums at all. Um, and this one is called Little Buddy. And I wrote it for a person who you've had love for. And maybe that love has ended, but you'll always be there for them. else should matter I'll always be right there for you I hope you understand this I know you're always there for me even though things went so wrong I wish we could relive the day when time would stop for both of us. You know I'll care for you every part of every day. You 
like to worry, but everything is all right. that you are very strong I know that I've made my mistakes I hope you like this heartfelt song We met at such a different stage So glad I got There's one thing you should know. I'll always have a place for you. You know I care for you. Every part of every day.
Miles Tucker on the tenor sax, Diego Joaquin Ramirez, Tamir Schmerling on the bass, David Leonard on the keys. My name is Wayne Tucker. Thank you, Brad Shepik, and everyone here at the Bronx River Arts Center. Please keep coming back. Have a beautiful night. Thank you so much. Thank you.